How's it going everyone? I hope you're having an awesome day. Let me take you on a journey to the town of Darwin. Just 20 minutes from the Maguete, this small town sits along the coast of one of the most fantastic diving spots in all of Negros. It is also the gateway to the famous Apo Island. This place is also one of the reasons why we went to Negros. At first, we just wanted to do a short dive, which we did through Bongo Bongo Divers. They're one of the top rated diving shops in all of Darwin and offer fair package prices and also accommodation and paddy certified courses. So without further ado, this is how our first dives went. Please enjoy. The first spot titled North Darwin is a mostly sandy area with some concrete blocks and car wrecks. It's home to plenty of species like nudibranches branches and scorpion fish but also some that you might not come across often, such as ghost pipefish. Unfortunately, my GoPro crashed very early, so there's basically no more footage beyond this. Now, the second dive, the marine sanctuary, is home to one of the larger coral reefs in this area. At first, it seemed just like an ordinary dive. Frogfish, clownfish hanging around, their anemone, and lots of different kinds of nudibranches. branches. But as we eventually reached the core of the reef itself, our minds were blown. place alone, you could see why Darwin is so famous for scuba diving. It went beyond our expectations. I should probably inform that we were diving at Bongo Bongo Divers. We initially planned to stay in this resort here. It looks very nice, but we thought it was better to just do it in uh, Domaguete. Yeah, this sure. is our, uh, Hello. Di our guide. Very cool <laughs> guy. <laughs> That's so awkward. He's a very cool guy. Hello. Very, very informative, very funny. That's what I love about a guide. <laughs> well, what we initially planned was to go just uh, on a joint tour to a place called Up Island. It's just right outside of Darwin. I cannot see it from here. Uh, but then they could organize a diving tour. Uh, this uh, Bongo Bongo divers, so we're going with them tomorrow to Up Island, which I think this video is primarily going to be about. And tomorrow, Up Island, it's very famous for uh, turtles, right? Yes. Turtles. So we will see how many turtles we can count. I will try to make a counter. And the reef is just like a tubataha reef. Tubataha. Yes. Oi. All right. Uh, just do a time skip for tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also, please follow me on Instagram. The original plan for us was to do three dives and then spend a bit of time on the island itself. But as this tour ended up having more people sign up for it than expected, the diver sort had to use a bigger boat, which would not be able to dock at the shore of Apo Island. Thus, we were not able to be on the island itself. However, the highlight of Apo Island, in our and many other people's opinion, is the diving and snorkeling. Nonetheless, it's a very nice island and you can even do overnight stays there. In the end, this video is going to be about the world underwater here and what we saw went beyond any expectations we could ever think of having.
This place is spectacular. I would honestly urge anyone who is on the fence of getting a scuba certificate to get it as soon as they can afford and then go straight here. You will not regret this at all. You may have watched even Avatar, The Way of Water. And if you haven't yet, we highly suggest you to. Because the thing that I want to get across here is that at the time of the diving, it wasn't long ago that we had watched it. And upon drifting along the reefs here, it brought us back to the underwater scenes of this movie. Seeing this footage, one can truly understand why the Philippines is ranked among the top diving destinations in the world. It makes sense considering how biodiverse the waters around this country are and how well preserved the underwater world is, thanks to strict conservation efforts that this country is undertaking. You will find so much species of fish, corals, reptiles and occasionally mammals living in these waters. It is important to raise that this world is still highly vulnerable and I believe it should be among humanity's top goals to preserve the ocean. Because these ecosystems are crucial to the existence of almost all life on the planet. But uh, let's not take a doomsday spin on this video. Because around up island I can see the underwater world thriving. How can you forget about the turtles here? This whole year seems like they had a tiring day. Here in particular, you may also find a lot of lato, or in English, sea grapes. I suggest to eat them on land instead though. I hope you had a good time watching this video. It's a bit different from my other videos as it's been narrated by me. This is in part because there was not so much dialogue for this video as it was too windy to use either the GoPro or my mirrorless on the boat. But I think it's important to narrate videos like this, where most of the clips are just showing things so that a story can be developed. Please let me know in the comments if you like this format sometimes. And lastly, I want to thank everyone at Bongo Bongo Divers for allowing us to have such an awesome diving experience. Also, we bought some very nice t-shirts from uh, some vendors who actually paddle to the boat. So they have this one here with the theme of Apo Island. And also this uh, sarong here, which May has been using quite a lot. And these all, uh, they will say 500, but you can actually haggle it down to 400 or even less, depending on how much you buy. Very nice quality, I really like them. Now once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad that you have at least watched until this part. Now please enjoy the last segment where I almost choke on some Kamote Q. Well, uh, the reason why I went out here now is to look for Kamote Q, the shit that they were selling. Hiya? Uh, Nan, Kamote Q? Nan? Takpila Kuya? Ten. Jis? Oh, okay. Benta. Uh, Kusam. Okay, salam kayo. You keep it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's hard to do all of this with one hand. Hold on, let me just... Let me just put on the camera for a bit. It's a bit... It's very difficult. With this one hand. Okay. 
There. Mm. It's not too sweet. Great. Could have been a bit crispy, but yeah, it's just grilled, it seems like, I think. Now it's fried. <laughs> Let me just chew it. It's very. <coughs> it's very starchy. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm alive. Yeah, the plan, of course, was to go inland on Up Island. However, it was very windy today. You probably saw that from the video earlier. And to be fair, I don't think we missed too much because the island is quite small and it's mainly for snorkeling as such and we got to scuba dive so we got to see uh, maybe more than you get to do usually while snorkeling. Yeah, up island, very nice. Scuba diving, super nice. I highly recommend you. If you have uh, $400 roughly or uh, no, $500 or roughly 25,000 pesos to spare. Um, Definitely get a scuba license uh, if you're in Philippines. Guarantee you, you will not regret at all. It's basically the, one of the best, I mean, as, been, uh, as it's been uh, ranked, the best place in the world to dive. But I've not been diving in much places in the world, so I cannot tell for sure. But the corals, super nice. Up Island, super nice. Here in Dumaguete or Dawin, super nice. Let me eat more.